Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. Got a product video today. We wanted to tell you about the Matthews Top Hat Spacer System. So this is a kit that you can buy that has a series of spacers um, in between the limbs that are, this is how you're gonna move your cam left and right on your Matthews bows. Before we get into how this system works, let's talk about the bows that the top hat system is gonna work for. It's gonna be any of your Matthews bows going back to the Halon series and forward up to 2022. This is where we are now. I don't know what Matthews is coming out with this year, but they may still use the top hat, but we know it's gonna work for the Halon series. TRG, TRX, then it's gonna work for the Triax, the Vertix, the TX5, the Traverse, and then your uh, VXR series bows, your V3 bows, and last year's V3X bows. So those are the bows that the top hat system is gonna work for. Um, and as we mentioned, what it does is, of course, so you're tuning your bow. Um, you know, you're getting some funky tears in the paper that you just can't clear up through rest movement. So now we wanna focus on the cams. Um, and you can see in here on this side of the cam and on this side of the cam, there's a little black circle that's in the very center there. It's basically one of these top hats that is, uh, it's a spacer. You can see um, my spacer on this side of the cam is thicker than on this side. Well, obviously, if I change those around, then I'm moving my cam left and right. So that's what I'm gonna do if I want to fix a paper tear. The issue that I had to deal with was, and, and this happens, you, you know, don't be surprised if you see this, I got a perfect bullet hole with one set of top hats. Then when I went to a broadhead tune and bear shaft, either one, they show the same thing, my fixed blade broadheads and my bear shaft were constantly hitting to the right of my fletched arrow. So that told me I needed to move my cam to the left. So to do that with the Matthews, this is my V3X33, you have to go in and you have to change out the top hats. So what you get in the top hat kit, you're gonna, you know, the, these top hats work in the top cam and the bottom cam as well. Um, but in the kit, you're gonna get two sets of three different sizes. So each top hat set is two top hats. Obviously you've got one on the left, one on the right. So they all come in sets of two and you're gonna get two of each. You got two cams, you're gonna need two sets of top hats each. And they are different thicknesses. You can see what Matthews calls this shoulder at the very top of the top hats. That's what uh, sits against your cam. So you can see the different thicknesses of those shoulders. That's what's moving your cam left and right. And they are tubes because they actually sit inside the limb tip and your axle goes through them. So it's a pretty ingenious system that works really well. But what you want to make sure is that you always maintain the same amount of distance between the limb tips. And the top hat system allows you to do that. So the um, thickness, the total thickness that you're gonna want of these shoulders is gonna be 0.175 inches. And how you know that you're gonna be able to get that is with the top hats, you know, you're gonna have one set that's uh, 0.100 and it's gonna have 0.075. Then you're gonna have a 0.040 and a 0.135 then you're gonna have 0 0.120 and 0 0.055. All of those dimensions, each set comes up to 0.175. So how you know that you're working with a matched set is Matthews has a series of lines on the barrel of these top hats. What you're gonna to wanna to match, one of the top hats is gonna have a single line and the other, the, the one that pairs with that will have two lines. So you always want to be using a top hat with a single line and a top hat with a double line. That's your matched set. 
Now, how you know which thicknesses go together is Matthews then placed those lines in different places. You're going to notice here the lines are in the middle of the barrels. Then next over, the lines here are all the way up against the shoulder. And then on our last set, the lines are all the way at the bottom. So you're going to look for, let's say I'm working with the ones where the lines are in the middle. I'm going to get one with a single line in the middle and the matched one is the double line in the middle. If I was to take uh, you know, one from here and one from here, the lines don't match up. That's not a matched set. So as long as you've got a one and a two with the lines in the same place on the barrel of the top hat, that's how you know you have a matched set. So now we're going to walk you through the process of how you install these. You are going to need a bow press because we are going to remove the axle as we place these in. All right, so what I have in my top cam here is I have a 0 0.100 and a 0 0.075. So those are going to be the top hats where the lines are all the way at the bottom, farthest away from the shoulder. And what I want to go to is the top hats, the middle ones, where the lines are in the middle. It's going to be a 0 0.120 and a 0 0.055. That 0 0.055 I'm going to put on the left side of my cam and obviously right now it's a 0 0.075 so you can see it's going to move the cam to the left. They don't have to match. You know, you don't know which sets you're going to get on your bow from the factory. It's irrelevant as long as that distance, that's all that matters is the distance, that 0.175. And then you have to do your tuning to figure out the arrangement of the top hats to get you the best hour of flight that you can. So how we start here is you're going to have a, a set screw on each side of the limb tips. This is what's holding your axle in place. You just have to remove one side. And it's important to note there are two pieces here. So the first piece is the screw. We take that out and then you'll see a little black washer there. That has to come off as well. Don't lose that. So that's our black washer that we have taken off. Now you have access to the axle. So what I like to do is to just get, take an Allen wrench that's about that size that I can push through and push the axle out. But here is uh, an important tip. When you have your bow press set up, you really want to make sure that your limb tips on the bow press are applying equal pressure. If the limb tips are off, you can imagine how that's going to twist your limbs here and once I pop the axle out, then it can come out of alignment. So you have to be able to remove the axle and put it back in, which means you want even pressure on those limb tips on your, you know, Matthews gives you these little receivers at the top that your limb tips go into for a bow press. You want to make sure that pressure is even on the limb tips so that you can maneuver the axle. So I'm just going to take my Allen wrench, put it in. Once I start to push, the axle is coming out the other side. Cam falls down there, that's okay, but there is my axle. Now, keep your cam assembled like this if you can just set it off to the side because you don't want to lose any of those twists in your, um, in your cables or your string. So, what that's going to expose is the top hats. You can see on this side, again, I'm just taking my same Allen wrench and I'm going in from the back of the limb tip, pulling out one of my top hats right there. So I want to take that one out, come to the other side, do the same thing. Now both top hats are out. So now I come to my replacement top hats. Again, they both have I have one with one line. This is going to be my 0 0.055. And then the other side with the two lines, that's going to be my 0 0.120. So I want the thickest one to go on the right limb tip 
and I want the skinniest one to go on the left. So just come around. Slide that in, slide the other one in, come back to my axle. Now, you can see right here, this is where the axle hole, this is the, you know, the axle is going to slide through here like that. So that's what I have to get positioned in between my limb tips. Kind of easiest if you feel your way through till you get that orientation correct. Slide the axle all the way through. Just make sure it's completely in. And now I just do everything in reverse. I take my got my screw and my washer. I'm gonna put them together. Set them in place. Now you don't want to over tighten these screws. Uh, you just want them to be snug. Just button up one against the other, uh, but you don't want to crank down on them. They should just be just until you can feel that they are now snug against one another. And then of course, I'm just going to take the Make sure all your cables and strings, everything's hooked up to the cam where it's supposed to be. Then I can take that out and now my cam has been shifted to the left. All right, so that is the Matthews Top Hat Spacer Kit System. Great simple system the folks at Matthews have for working with those bows that I mentioned uh, to manipulate that cam position while you're doing your tuning. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.